The portion of scripture that I'm reading for today is taken from Matthew's Gospel, chapter 2, verses 1 to 12. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. When King Herod heard this, he was disturbed, and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had called together all the people's chief priests and teachers of the law, he asked them where the Messiah was to be born. In Bethlehem in Judea, they replied, for this was, is what the prophet has written. Micah chapter 5, verse 2. But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means the least among the rulers of Judah. For out of you will come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and found out from them the exact time the star had appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search carefully for the child. As soon as you find him, report to me so that I too may go and worship him. After they had heard the king, they went on their way, and the star they had seen when it rose went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down, and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their country by another route. Christmas musical for this year, entitled This Mountain I Must Climb, created by local church members. And I'll be mentioning a little bit more shortly. A very warm welcome to all of you and a very blessed Christmas. Uh, as I've introduced myself, my full name is Reverend Ashok Amarasingam. I'm the pastor of Wesley Methodist Church Klang. And it gives me great honor to be able to welcome all of you to our special uh, Christmas service uh, this evening. Today we bring to you a very unique Christmas musical entitled this mountain I must climb, which contains a very special and personal Christmas message for all of you. In previous years, we celebrated Christmas by performing dramas and musicals written by people from other regions. In these last two years, uh, we, uh, the members of our own church under the Creative Arts Ministry felt that maybe writing our own dramas would be more relevant to our context. If you had been with us before, you may remember the first drama entitled, Where is God? I remember that well because some of the uh, children started making their own tunes and singing it to me, Where is God? And last year, we produced I Am King. This year, the team decided to write a full musical instead. The script and most of the songs, except for some of the more familiar Christmas carols and songs, are all written by the members of the team. I was here and there during the discussions, planning and meetings, and I can tell you that all the participants of this musical have practiced really hard and put in great effort to personally and collectively. Allow me now to give you a synopsis of what you are about to witness. <coughs> the musical focuses on three magi who visited the baby Jesus during Christmas time as recorded in the Bible. Not much is known about them, except for some traditions passed down over the centuries. Who were they? We don't really know. But we know that they came from the East, and they came bearing gifts, precious gifts to be given to the baby Jesus, who is the Savior of the world. This is where some creative license is given to the team in writing the script. 
to portray how their journey started and what happened in their journey and what lessons we can learn from their journey. Ultimately, the message is about how this journey is to seek for Jesus, who is actually not too dissimilar to our own personal journeys. Just as a Magi would face their own personal mountains, as they seek the Saviour, you and I have our own mountains in life too. Hence, the theme of this year's musical is This Mountain I Must Climb. I hope and pray that as you witness this musical, you too will journey with the Magi to seek the Saviour, that you too may learn to overcome the mountains in your life. Over to the team. Father, does Grandpa know the name of all the stars in the sky? <laughs> no, son. Not all of them. There are just too many stars to name them all. Can you tell me some of the name of the stars, Father? Hmm. I know a few, but not as many as Grandpa does. Why does Grandpa know so much about the stars? Hmm. Stars, son are an important part of our culture. They show the directions when we travel and tell us the time of the seasons. The star is also a sign of important events. What's the name of that star? That's Polaris, the North Star. It always points us to the North. Polaris. And that one? That's Sirius. The brightest star in the sky. Oh, son, look. And those two over there are Mera and Dube. They form the Big Dipper. Can you see them? What about that one? Where? Oh, oh, son, come. We need to go at once. Yes, father. Have you heard about the star? It is finally risen in the west. Is this the star that heralds the birth of the Saviour? It is, and this is the most historic event of all of the two. Oh, I'm so excited! The time we have been waiting for all of our lives. I'm going to be the first person Greet the Saviour. You? Don't you have goats to feed? My wife would take care of it. Hey, this is an adventure of a lifetime. You can't even find your way in your own farm. How are you able to find the Saviour? Besides, what would you wear? If our elders ever choose me, I wish to go too. You? And why not? I'll go after the Star of wonder, star of night Star with royal beauty bright Rest my living silver singing Guidance to thy perfect light When is the delegation? for the birthplace of the Saviour? Our wise 
elder will decide on matter like this, like he always does. I know many who would love to go. Everyone would want to go. There will be many challenges ahead, and the roads are. What shall we present to the Savior? Surely we cannot go empty handed. I will gladly sacrifice my entire herd of bulls to present to the Savior. And I will give the best fruits of my field. And I will bake the most lovely bread. Aren't you getting ahead of yourself? Don't you know that the journey will be long and arduous? It will take the best of us to follow the Star of Wonder, Star of Night Star with royal beauty bright Where's when he lives to hear us sing sun will be blinding and the valleys are deep and wide the darkness that surround will keep reminding Melchior, you've been chosen among all men for your wisdom and knowledge of the ancient roads and pathways. Yes, my lord, the trade caravan that I have led and the merchant roads have I traversed afar, fields and fountain, moor and mountain, I've conquered them all. Know this, O Melchior, riches alone shall not bring you success on this trip. Yes, my lord. I've tasted the sweet, sweet flavor of silver, diamonds and pearls I have pour and over. And my riches are deep and wide. My hands have worked this why be a giver all I have I lay at his feet the Savior for whom I sleep all of me that I was to give must lose itself and disappear for it is one Moment in time. This is the mountain I must climb. Caspar! I am here, my lord. Caspar, Caspar, a handsome young man with a bright future ahead. 
Thank you, my Lord. I've captivated the crowds wherever I've performed in front of paupers and in audiences with the princes. No, this, O Caspar. All that you see is not what really is. Fame is fleeting. And even the brightest stars in the night sky fade away in the light of the sun. Yes, my Lord. Wherever I go, they know me by name To the north, south, east and west, it's all the same My renown is deep and wide This is my show, my life and my claim to fame all I have I lay at His feet, the Savior for whom I seek. All of me that I hold so dear must lose itself and disappear. For in this one moment in time, this is the mine. Yes, yes, my lord. Balthazar, you've been chosen for this journey. Me? But, but I haven't set foot outside of the village ever since that... My lord, please, if it be solely my choice, I will not to go. This, this is not the sort of adventure for someone like me. Know this, of Balthazar. Some men are born into greatness, and some men will have greatness thrust upon them. Go, Bataza, the hand which formed you in your mother's womb, and the hands which have held you through your childhood, are the very hands that will preserve you. Yes. And strife. Here in this village, I've lived all my life, and my world is deep and wide. Turn me out of my shell. I survive. All I have, I lay at His feet, the Savior for whom I seek. All of me that I hold so dear must lose itself and disappear. For in this one moment in time, this is the mountain I must Now, take these gifts with you and they will be presented to the Saviour when you have found Him. You shall not open them until you have arrived at your destination. In this journey to seek for the Saviour, you will come face to face with mountains. <laughs> no mountains have ever stopped my trade caravan. The mountain which I speak of are the mountains in here. Yes, my Lord. My Lord? Temptations will grip you and turn your eyes away. Keep, keep your eyes on the prize that is ahead.
Bethesda, come. Yes, my Lord. Can, can somebody else take my, posi- my position? You must find courage to let go of your past. That which you hold is what holds you. Your mountain is right here. Now, all three of you, keep each other accountable. Remember, do not open the gift until the Savior is found. God be with you. All I have, I lay at His feet, the Savior for whom I see. So the three chosen men, also called the Magi, set off from their village into an unexpected journey. Melchior, being the eldest in the group, was the natural leader of the Magi. Having vast experience in traveling also meant that he was always trusted with the directions. Caspar was reasonably well-traveled too, but even so, this journey felt somewhat different. Balthazar had always felt safe within the comforts of the village, so every step he took was always going to be further than he has ever been from the safety of home. They were never sure how long this journey would take or how far they would have to travel, and they never really knew where they were headed. Their only guide was the light of the star that shone brightly before them, and they were bound only by the companionship of each other as they set out on a mission to the unknown. Melchior, we need to replenish our supplies soon. We'll be running out of food and water if we don't get to a town soon. Don't worry. I know this small town just beyond these hills. I've visited there some time ago. When was the last time you... It's there. We'll get to that town soon enough. Welcome. Welcome, strangers. Welcome to Gaines Rock. I am the mayor of this town. Come see our stocks and merchandise. We have it all. You'll be surprised. Show us what you got. Try our delicious food. Their fingers and fingers. Let's deal, let's make a trade. See this, they're all homemade. Come and sample our wares. Buy our apples and pears. I see so much potential in this town. Look! Do you see what this town needs? No. These travellers, they are sleeping in tents. Oh, so they need flat ground to sleep on. Uh, They'll need lots of blankets, that's for sure. No, they need hotels, inns, motels, housing developments. (laughs) I can imagine it now. Gaines Rock Hotel, right here. To house the traders and travellers. And, 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 and Eco Gains Rock <laughs> for the rich traders. Ah. Oh. And, 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 and look at the way they are trading. They, they need a proper market to, 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 to sell their goods in. <laughs> the potential here is immense. 
to make some dollars and some sense. The opportunity in our community a stall in every square and people from everywhere. This town will become great. You rain from the city gate Flowing with milk and honey Our houses will be filled with money Money, money, money Must be found in the rich man's world Money, money, money Always sunny in the rich man's world. All the things I could do if I had a little money is a rich man's world. It's a rich man's world. Money, money, money must be funny. Melchior? Melchior? Y yes, Gaspar. Melchior, we, we need to keep moving. We've gotten our food for the journey. We cannot stay more than is required. We have to leave this town. I know. It's just... This, this journey is so difficult. The mountain, your mountain. For in this one moment in time, this is the mountain I must climb. And so, the Magi journey on. The three of them were beginning to realize that this adventure was more than an unusual journey. The usually unflappable Melchior was deeply shaken, and although he tried not to show it, the others could tell that something had happened deep within him. While this journey was about physically seeking out, perhaps the Magi were beginning to realize more and more that this journey is about looking in. Yeah, you say go jinja ibuji anya? I'm chung ibo! Um, pende, nege do ibunde? Pene do sound and go? No, no, nega ibo so kanyang chu do hau go ya. Yeah, uri moro da ebo. Edoria, uri aji kogu irum anjo heso. You know what I do, Lotte? Yes, you are either in? Nega, say you talk to Nango's home, but I go it, Yana? Oh, she dug it up. Yeah, yeah. Uri Tashi no le yom salga? Tumun, and boy get om chong choa. Yeah, should be Kesapania? Mount Doandre, Chosalam, you way you say, oh. Kunde Jumoko Boinda. 진짜 많은 것 같은데? 에이씨 석씨 유명 가수 캐스파 아세요? 아, 네. 캐스파 맞는데 유명하지는 <웃음> 진짜 캐스파야! <웃음> 우리 오마가 완전 판미예요! <웃음> 저희가 거그로 결성하려고 하거든요. 그리고 저희랑 같이 노래 칠수 있으세요? 같이? 
혹시 그외 보여요? 잠시만 잠시만 네 근데 공연 나는 지왜 되는데 이누나랑 캐스바가 사람들 앞에서 공연하는 거 상상해 봐야 우리는 주회 노래 들어보실래요? 음악 주세요 life already don't you miss being famous for in this one moment in time this is the mountain I must climb The star in the night sky continues to shine brightly overhead as the Magi made their way forward. It was Caspar's turn to be greatly affected by the brief encounter with his inward desires and inner pride. It rocked him to his core. Who doesn't like to be well known and adored? As they trudge on, what other mountains would they have to face? And so they chance upon a place which resembled something from somewhere deep inside Balthazar's memories. A place where the scars merely papered over the deep wounds that had never healed. It looks like it's going to be uphill from here on. These hills, they look higher than the ones before. Yeah, the going will be slow, but... I sense that we are near the end of our journey. Let's, let's just stop here for a while. Okay. This place. So 
much like that time. Balthazar, hey, you all right? Balthazar, huh? hey, yeah. This this place, I feel like I feel like I've been here before. What? You've been here before? Are you sure? Maybe it was a dream. No, no. This this place has such a familiar feel to it. I thought you've never stepped out of our village before, until this journey, that is. I actually. Why is it that you've always been, um, you know, um, afraid? We never really knew about your story, you know, like uh, how you eventually came to our village. place it, it reminds me very much of that day place in my mind repeats in my mind all the time I was in such a happy place then I was surrounded with so much love. And then it happened right before my eyes. Just one small misstep. They were gone. I was just a little boy. Don't even remember them at all. Looking up, where's the hand to hold?
So that's your story. Now we understand. I'm so sorry to hear about your loss. You know, it has been many years. Come, my friends, we have to go home. Balthazar, only God knows why your parents were taken away that day. But I'm sure that you, they would want you to live your life to the fullest, without fear. Perhaps it's time for you to let go of your past and step forth into your own future. As they traveled on, they would soon arrive at Jerusalem. Although Jerusalem was a big city, it wasn't long before word got around that these three strange men were following a brightly shining star that would lead them to the Savior, the King. Of course, the human king in Jerusalem was terribly alarmed. The Magi were summoned to the palace where King Herod would interrogate them before the scholars pointed the way to Bethlehem, the birthplace of the Savior as foretold in the Bible. In the book of Micah chapter 5, verse 2, it was announced, But you, Bethlehem Ephrathah, though you are small among the clans of Judah, out of you will come for me one who will be ruler over Israel, whose origins are from of old, from ancient times. Finally, after all that they had gone through, the Magi were about to come face to face with the Savior, the one they had been searching for. And right there, the star which had been leading them from the very first day, miraculously stopped over the place where baby Jesus, the Savior of the world, had been born. Oh, 
Look, a star. A star? The star has stopped moving. Surely this must be a sign. In all my life, I've never seen a star move across the night sky. And it just stops right there. I'm moving. This is simply amazing. And having found the Savior, a baby wrapped, wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger, the Magi would come, bow, come and bow down. And it was time to present their gifts to the Savior. I, Melchior, present unto thee, the Savior of the world, this gift of gold. Born a king on Bethlehem's plain, gold I bring to crown him again. King forever, seizing never over us all to reign. This gift of gold, gold, gold. <laughs> All this while, I had in my possession the most precious of metals. Now I understand that which is most precious to me, I must bring before the Saviour. To the Saviour of the world, a baby, a child, the Son of the living God, I bring before you this gift of frankincense. Frankincense to offer have I, incense owns a deity pray and praising all my life, I've sought the attentions of people, using my talents to seek praise for myself and bring glory to my own name. I have laid down the gift of frankincense, the symbol of praise and glory before the Saviour because only He deserves all the praise and glory. This gift of myrrh I present unto thee. Myrrh is mine, it's bitter perfume. Breeze a life of gathering gloom. Sorrow and sighing, bleeding, dying, sealed in the stone-cold tomb. Isn't... Isn't myrrh used for embalming the dead? Why did the elder make me present the gift of myrrh to a baby? At the start of this journey, the elder said that that which I hold on to is what will hold me. So, if I let go of what holds me, then... Balthazar, your fear of death is what has been holding you. Just as you laid your gift 
of myrrh, which is the symbol of death at the feet of the Saviour. So lay your fears also at the Saviour's feet, that you may no longer need to fear. That which I hold on to, and all I have to do is to lay them at His feet, Having been warned in a dream not to return home using the same route through Jerusalem, the Magi made their long way home full of joy, wonder, and amazement that the journey to overcome their own personal mountains was just as important as the journey to seek for the Savior. And what a magnificent story they had to tell when they get home. Father, where is Uncle Balthazar? <laughs> I have no idea, son. He could be anywhere in the world. He used to be so scared of everything. When I grow up, I want to be brave like Uncle Balthazar. <laughs> I'm sure you will be brave one day. Did Uncle Melchior give you this chain? Oh, yes. Yes, he did right after he came back from Bethlehem. But why? It looks heavy. Well, he said he doesn't need it anymore. Something about riches can't buy joy and happiness. I like Uncle Melchior now. He always gives me cookies. <laughs> oh, is that so? Well, he does seem very different since he got back. I've never seen him so jovial and light-hearted before. It's like he's got his, the whole weight of the world lifted from him. Is Uncle Casper performing his, his song again tonight at Gamper Celebration? Hmm, I believe he will. I like his new song better. He used to sing my way, but now he sings only way. It sounds so much cooler. <laughs> yep, well, let's go, son. The celebrations are about to begin. After the things that kept me up at night I died with strangers, I died with kings Crave the ascension under the spotlight The mountains and the hills, they were merry I like a pass through the valley And now that I still can I'm setting my sights on living out my life I won't go back on one day. I'm leaving my past and walking ahead to the future my God has made. So goodbye yesterday. I'm gonna live my life. God's only 
I was. I just, I just got back from. Think so? You think you can run now? Ha! Not only can I run, but I can fly even to the highest stars. I used to hide, hide, hiding from everything and everyone. We were we surrounded, surrounded, yet alone. Stuck in the lies under the rising sun. Mountains and the hills in the valley. Highlights the past to the valley. Now that I still can hide. I'm setting my sights on living out my life the only way. I won't go back on what may. I'm leaving my past and walking ahead to the future my God has made. So goodbye. But when we put our trust in our God, God He will overcome in time. The mountains in your life can be anything, a fear, a one, a diamond ring. Whatever they are, at His feet we lay. Only then we can live our lives the only way. Living out my life the only way I won't go back, come what may I'm living my past and walking ahead To the future my God has made So goodbye Dear friends, we have come uh, towards the end uh, of uh, our night tonight. Um, on the rehearsal two nights ago, um, I had to be in and out of the hall because I had some urgent calls to attend. So I didn't see the final rehearsal, although I wanted to. Uh, today is the first night that I was able to see the whole thing. And I really uh, thank the Lord for the message that uh, came out very clearly. And... Um, in our life, we have mountains that we struggle, we need to overcome them. But as we saw in the musical, uh, each uh, Magi, they were able to overcome that mountain. And I believe it is with God's uh, strength and with God's power. Uh, for some of us, it may be success in this world. Uh, it may be... Um, going on in the, um, your business world, in your pursuits, uh, like in the case of the first Magi. For others, it could be the temptation of the bright lights uh, and fame. And for the third Magi, we could be those persons who have memories of the past uh, and that has affected us uh, badly. But whatever our mountains are, God is there. And when the Magi, the wise men, pursued and found Jesus, they were able to overcome these mountains in their life. This time, we just close our eyes. We come before the Lord today. We want to give an opportunity for God to speak into our lives today. We want to tell the Lord, Lord, 
I identify with these mountains that the wise man or the magi face. And I know, Lord, that I have to overcome these mountains. That success and prosperity, that the bright lights and the fame and the hurtful memories of my childhood days, Lord, they are not going to take me away from you, Lord Jesus. And today, if you are that person, you may not know Jesus. Today is the first time you may be hearing the name Jesus. Or perhaps you have heard his name being sung in the songs in the shopping malls. Or perhaps in the newspapers or elsewhere. But you do not know him. And you want to know him. You, you want to make a response that, I want to know you, Lord. I, I may not be able tonight to actually say that I want you to enter into my life, but I want to know more of you. And that's all I want to do. And if that's you, even as we have closed our eyes at this time, I just want you to raise your hands. If you want to make a response that you want to know more about Jesus, you want to know more about this Jesus, who can help you overcome the mountains in your lives. Is there anyone in the audience today? Could you just raise your hands at this time? Including those upstairs, you may want to raise your uh, hands even as we close our eyes. And even as you ponder over this, if you raise your hands, you, you can do it now. There may be some in our midst who actually want to make a commitment to actually say, yes, Lord Jesus, I believe in you. I've, I've heard about you and I know the gospel. And tonight I want to make a commitment. Could you also raise your hands? So the invitation is open to all who would like to know more about Jesus, who want to make a commitment that Jesus is your Lord and Savior. Could you raise your hands at this time? Is anyone here? Just like to pray for you tonight. I just request that you raise your hands. Anyone in our midst who would like to know Jesus more and would like to make a commitment that Jesus be your Lord and Saviour. Right, I'll just open it for another one minute and then I will close in prayer. Again, I just repeat, is there anybody who would like to make a commitment to Jesus as Lord and Saviour? I'd like to know Him more. Could you raise your hands today? Okay, why not be close in prayer? And even after the meeting is over, if you want to know more about Jesus, I'll be standing in the front here. You can come and talk to me. I'll talk to anyone in the uh, team that was singing or the musicians, and they will uh, share more with you about Jesus. Let's pray. Lord, we want to come before you today. Lord, we know, Lord, that the, your word has been shared with us in the form of a musical. And Lord, we want to pray, Lord, that even as the seeds have been sown tonight, we pray, Lord, that people will ponder more over this message. And Lord, for those, and we know there are many, Lord, in our nation of Malaysia who still have yet to make a commitment to Jesus as Lord and Saviour, we pray, Lord, that the day will come that they will actually uh, decide to say yes. I want Lord Jesus to be the Lord and Saviour of my life. We know that he's not a baby who was just there on that first Christmas, but that he indeed lived a life. He grew up as a man and he died on the cross for our sin. And three days later, he rose from the dead. We thank you, Lord, that you are alive today and that you have called us to follow after you. So we thank you again. We thank you for drawing us together here. And Lord, even as we close our night, we just want to continue to celebrate and rejoice in the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ and the coming of Jesus into this world and his great and glorious second coming in the future. All this, Lord, we give you thanks. We praise you in Jesus' name. Amen.